Hi students, today we are going to study about human eye. All of you know that eye is one of the sensory organs of human being and while telling about it is most important sensory organ of human. Now while telling about why human eye is the most important part of the human eye. Because you know that it is not like that without human eye we cannot survive. We can survive. But why it is so important? Because without human eye we cannot see this colorful world. Okay, we can taste, we can smell, okay, we can touch. Through that we can survive, we can feel everything like that. But in order to see this colorful world, you can see that a scenery to enjoy the scenery is okay enjoy the surrounding uh, surrounding which is there around us we regret our eyes okay so that's why okay this uh, eyes are very important or the most important sensory organ of our body okay so today we are going to see that how this eye functions working of eyes okay that is what we are going to see today now whenever we are studying about the eyes okay now in the comparative study is very easy we can easily understand it okay that is why the eye is compared to the camera okay nowadays you know that Okay, it is uh, on uh, digital camera is using. Okay, digital camera is very much res resemblance with the human eye. Okay, because okay there in this digital camera there is no film. You know that earlier film was used. Okay, now instead of that the uh, sensory image sensor is there in the place of the film that is just as like that of the retina of our human eye. now before get into that okay let's see the comba the comparison okay first we can see that okay there is a uh, aperture okay we know that aperture okay aperture means uh, the opening okay this opening of the okay camera is called the aperture okay sure okay now now while telling about look this much apart so through this aperture actually light enter, enter, enters the camera in the same way this human eye also having an aperture okay we can say that uh, this is the aperture of the uh, human eye this is we can say okay so okay it is uh, aperture means it is the pupil sure so here also this is the aperture okay so it is the true aperture we can say that uh, the light okay how much light can be so like that here it is the pupil okay that is the same as like that of the aperture okay and next is of lens you know that here on lens is there okay what is the purpose of the lens is okay in order to focus it okay that is clear image to be okay get into the film okay like that here also we know that okay lens is there in this human eye ready okay this is the lens okay and the other is of diaphragm now what is the diaphragm diaphragm in camera okay you may know inside this diaphragm is there inside okay nowadays it is the uh, uh, automatic camera is coming therefore no need of adjustment of diaphragm okay but earlier it was not like that. in manual camera uh, the diaphragm must to be adjusted how the diagram uh, diaphragm was adjusted means okay if suppose there there is lot of sunlight is there okay then okay this diaphragm must be small so this we can say it can be adjusted so the diaphragm will make a small it is why so only the less amount of light will be allowed to enter the camera okay if it is open very much open it will become over exposure over exposure means we cannot clear see the objects very clearly the totally it is of light it will be filled with light okay same way here the okay irish okay helps okay irish means uh, here it is the irish is so far okay one minute 
okay here it is irish means okay you can see this part this is the irish okay this irish is doing the same purpose of this uh, okay diaphragm so whenever the light now suppose at a noon okay now there is lot of light is there then what will come, happen this irish will come to this so that the opening will become small that is the okay we will say the pupil becomes small so that only less amount of light will be allowed to enter into it so we can see the objects clearly over exposure will not happen now at the same time suppose we are it is at night okay if it is at night okay now what will happen okay this irish okay it will co contract okay so when it contract we can say that okay this irish will what will do it will expand now it will contract like this so that more light will enter into the eyes understand on uh, that is on video is there then you will understand it properly okay so that is about the okay irish okay next is of the focusing ring now focusing ring means here the focusing that you may know that okay when we are rotating this focusing ring okay we will get the exactly the proper focus you know it now it is in automatic camera there is no need of all this then also okay focusing ring is there same is the ciliary muscle ciliary muscle means here you can see that these are the ciliary muscles okay the ciliary muscles actually what doing it okay the fine focusing of this lens okay by making it thin or thick okay more idea okay you will get here okay now here it is the direct comparison okay with the now you know that uh, we can see the okay uh, human eye like this okay this is the internal part here okay here look okay this is over now we are on this part okay one uh, glazing part is there okay that is called the uh, cornea so it is a transparent here the transparent part okay that is the what it is cornea now and the next step here this is what the pupil okay this is what the pupil okay and this part is the irish okay and the rest of the things you know that okay here it is the lens here okay and this is the ciliary okay muscles okay and this is the irish understand okay now okay like that you can see it is like that this is the human eye and it is the it is like that now okay now this is the purpose of uh, drawing the diagram here also the same thing okay in order to exam purpose we can say that it will be asked for to draw the neat label diagram of the uh, human eye so at that time what you have to do is okay you have to draw this diagram okay now here it is what you have to do is okay you have to draw a circle okay you have to draw a circle okay then what you have to do look first you have to what you have to do is you have to draw a circle like this okay draw a circle okay then what you have to do is then you just uh, bulge it like this so that you will get the cornea okay this is the cornea part you will get okay then what you have to do is from here you take some part here okay and some part here and there you have to draw the eye lines okay and here the ciliary muscles and the front part you must have to this is the irish okay this iris is very important okay then here the retina okay retina is like that of the film okay that already and the other is of optical nerves of the optical nerves actually what are the picture falling on it it is takes to the brain okay then okay this the uh, vitreous humor okay that is a liquid which is filled in the okay eyes okay this is actually okay about the it is very necessary to okay Uh, learn how to draw this okay diagram okay nearly now let's see that actually okay what are the important parts here okay first is of about the cornea now cornea is already we see what actually the cornea is what is the cornea it is the thin membrane okay it is a thin membrane okay through which the light enters okay so that through this cornea what actually the light enters into the uh, uh, eyes okay so here it forms how it is transparent bulge okay that look here it is transparent bulge in front of the bone where the position is this is the most important thing that is most of the refraction occurs at the outer surface of cornea yes so that is here almost it is doing the some function of the lens 
understand that is the refraction okay that is the light which uh, fall on it okay then it is uh, redirecting to the inside the lens sorry eyes okay that is what the cornea is doing that is what called it is okay most of the refraction see okay refraction occurs at the outer surface of the cornea and next is of eyeball eyeball means the entire this is of eyeball okay this is of a eyeball okay now okay while telling about this eyeball okay it is of diameter is approximately 2.3 that is percent to percent it will change okay next is of iris now what is iris you know that okay this is the iris okay what is the uh, need of iris okay is okay it is a dark muscular diaphragm so iris means it is diaphragm what is its main use control the size of the pupil that already you know that okay that is okay if the more light is there okay light is more than iris, iris pupil because small okay because iris will relax sure now if it is there is less light is there this iris become okay that is contract so that uh, more light can pass so that the uh, pupil become large okay it is behind cornea and uh, now here the we are going to see a video okay now here the pupil now pupil means it regulates the control so uh, there is a close relation between the okay iris and the pupil understand because the size of the pupil is uh, uh, managed by who iris depends on the size of, that is uh, the iris okay the size of the pupil okay that is if the iris uh, relax okay then the pupil becomes small okay when it contracts okay the okay pupil become large okay so it depends look here it regulates and control the amount of light enter into the eyes okay the black opening between the aqueous femur and the lens so this is here this opening okay this opening it is now okay we are going to see this okay video now here you you now do look here you can see this black part here okay you can see this black okay now you see clearly okay here you can see that okay you can see that this much part okay big it is okay now okay now we will okay find that okay it is of a Okay, how it? Okay. See, you just you see here. Okay. Now your size is big. Okay. Just listen. Okay. See carefully here. Okay. Now look. It is decreased, size is decreased further. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now look. Now more intensity of light is going to come. Okay. Now you can see this size here. Sure. Now see. It is decreased. Okay. This is what the pupil. The size of the pupil is okay decreased that is become small sure now look yes now look it, be, there is darkness so that the okay size of the pupil become okay uh, large sure yes now look yeah when now when the light comes here okay just to see okay big it is now big it is now okay b okay so like that now look here look now intensity now actually this is the pupil okay the size is small why because the more light is there that why this pupil become small here okay so this is the iris okay this is what the iris and this is the pupil so when it relaxes okay this it becomes small now look light is now again it will now if the more light you can see that further it is of okay the it is now light is not there again size is increased okay see see it become very big okay because okay more light will be allowed to enter into the eyes see okay you can see it clearly that the size is okay this iris is so far contracting and relaxing 
yes able to see yeah look look yes okay so this is the function of the iris now the other part that is of a okay uh, crystalline Islands. Islands, you already you know that. Okay, it is a lens that is a fine. Even the most of the refraction is happening in the cornea, but what the lens is doing is okay, it uh, okay, focus that is fine focus is doing by the okay lens that is focus the okay, focus the real and the inverted image of the object on the retina. So, here the retina on inverted inverted image means uh, here the upright image is there in the cornea in the retina, how the image is upside down. Okay, inverted image will be formed here. Okay, then okay, it is uh, composed of fibrous jelly like uh, material, it is convex lens uh, and uh, convex it is okay. What kind of lens convex that is convergence lines at a uh, retina. It converges the light at a retina. Okay. This is the ciliary muscles. Now, ciliary muscles, you know that. Okay. This is the ciliary muscles. Also, here the ciliary muscles. Now, what actually the ciliary muscle is doing is, okay, it changes the curvature. Curvature means uh, thickness of the lens. Okay. That is, uh, okay, it become, okay, thick or thin. How it becomes thick or thin. Okay. Now, look. Okay. When it uh, relaxes, okay, it become thin. So that we can see the distant objects clearly. Okay. So we can see the distant object clearly. Okay. Now, okay, when it relaxes, it becomes thick. Sorry, when it contracts, it becomes thick. So that we can see the nearby objects. Okay. This adjustment, ciliary muscles adjustment is called the power of accommodation. That we will see the next part. Okay. Now, here are the islands and uh, hence the change is focal length so that we can see, look here, object clearly placed at a different position. Different position means uh, at a distance and the near. Okay. That is what actually. Sure. Now, the next is our retina. Okay. Retina, we already we see that. Okay. This retina, here the retina means when the image is, okay, that is the membrane large number of sensitive cells that is very important okay when the image formed at retina light sensitive cells get uh, activated so here the light sensitive cells are there that is get activated and generate electrical pulses that is very important okay electrical pulses are generated okay these signals okay send it to the uh, brain via optic nerves here it is okay through the pulses electrical pulses will go to the where it will go it will go to the brain Okay, it will go to the brain. Okay, then brain analyze these signals after which we perceive the object. So that is what the function of that. So understand all of you here very clearly. Okay, so the main first it is what is the cornea that is in front there is cornea is there. Okay, then behind cornea what is there? Iris is there. Okay, depends on the size of the iris what is there? Pupil is there. Okay, now this pupil, okay, the light enter into the lens through the pupil okay then a inverted image is formed on the retina then the size of the lens is uh, managed by the ciliary muscles okay it relaxes and okay that is called the power of accommodation okay now see the power of accommodation now what is power of accommodation okay power of accommodation is the okay ability of the eyes okay to adjust its focal length in order to see the distant object as well as the nearby object. Now you, we, you, you know that when we see an object which is very near to us as well as very far to us. Okay, whether there we are feeling any difference in that. Okay, we will take some time to see the nearby object and that of the, the distance object. No, okay, very fast. So you must understand that, okay, while doing this, our ciliary muscle is doing some work there. Understand? So, here the okay, power of accommodation is called. So, it is very much but automatic. We can say it is automatic. It will not take any time. Okay. It is with the help of the ciliary muscles. So, what is the power of accommodation is the ability of the eye lens to adjust the focal length. Okay. In order to see the object which is at distance as well as which is very near but okay who is with the help of the ciliary muscles now while telling about the ciliary muscles okay it is on the two case that is of a relaxed and the contract 
No, I say that when it is uh, lens become thin, when it is relaxed, lens become thin. Okay, so when we are seeing a distant objects, uh, our ciliary muscle become relaxed. At that time, the focal length is increased. Sure, focal length is increased. Thin means, okay, this is the case. Okay, that is this is. Okay, here you can see that. Okay, the eye lens become thin here. Sure, here it is thin. Okay, now it enables us to see the distant object clearly. Look, so that we can see the distant object. Sure, Vajja, here very important. When the ciliary muscle relaxed, okay, eye lens become thin. Okay, due to which we can see the, okay, distant objects clearly. It helps to increase the focal length. Sure, and the other is of a contract. Now, contract means okay, it is the eye lens become thick, but it become thick. Okay, because of that, they decreases the focal length. Focal length become decrease. If the focal length is decreased, it enables us to see the nearby objects clearly. So this is like that. Okay, it become thick, correct? It become thick or not? So we can see the nearby object and clear. Sure that okay. So that is the power of accommodation. Now here you have to understand the other thing is of a near point of eye. Okay, that is also called the least distance of distinction. Now it is not like that. If any object which is very near to us, we can see. No. Okay, the minimum distance between our eye, okay, and that of the object must to be twenty five centimeter. Well, how much it is? It must be. 25 centimeter. Okay, if it is very near, suppose we are putting an object here. Okay, then we cannot see because it may be only 10 centimeter here. Understand? If in order to uh, see an object distinctly, okay, distinctly means uh, very clearly. Okay, the two must to be okay more than 25 centimeter. Understand? What it is more than 25 centimeter. Then only we can see. Okay, so that okay, 25 centimeter is for the normal. This is very important. 25 centimeter. What is 25 centimeter? If it is the least distance of distinction. Okay, that is also called as minimum distance at which object can be seen. Okay, most distinctly without any strain. Okay, we can be need not take any strain here. Okay, and the other is of a far point of the eye. Now far point means distance. Now where the far point? How? Far we can see. Okay, it is very we can say it is infinity because even sky we can see clearly. Correct? Sky is at infinity. Okay, so so, so the infinity of normal eye. Understand? Okay, it is the farthest point up to which the eye can see object clearly. Sure, all of you. So that is about the power of accommodation. So we today we see how the uh, this. Uh, I functions, I works. Also, we see the power of accommodation. What is power of accommodation? Power of accommodation is the ability of the eye lens to adjust its focal length. Sure, in order to accommodate, okay, with the help accommodate the, okay, objects which is nearby as well as the distance with the help of the ciliary muscles. Okay, how it the power of accommodation happens? Okay, with the help of the ciliary muscles. By relaxation of the ciliary muscles as well as the contraction of the ciliary muscles. If the ciliary muscle is relaxed, we can see the distant object. If the ciliary muscle is contracted, we can see the nearby objects. Okay. Other important point is the least distance or distinction. What is it is on fill up? Okay, it can come that is 25 centimeter is the least distance or distinction. Okay, that is at least the distance from our eye to the object must be 25 centimeters. If it is less than that, we cannot see the object clearly. Okay, it must be at least distance. Okay, must 25 centimeter must be there. Sure. So if an object is placed at 10 centimeter, we cannot see it clearly. Sure. And the far point of vision is infinity. So we can see any object which is very far away also very clearly. So that is about okay today's lecture. I hope you understand all this concept. If you have any doubt. Don't hesitate to ask it. Okay, you can ask it through the comment box. Okay, thank you. Thank you, children. Okay.